December 23, our study in ages to come, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness toward us through Christ Jesus, Ephesians 2, 7. The science of redemption is the science of all sciences, the science that is the study of the angels and of all the intelligences of the unfallen worlds, the science that engages the attention of our Lord and Savior, the science that enters into the purpose brooded in the mind of the infinite, kept in silence through times eternal, the science that will be the study of God's redeemed through the endless ages. This is the highest study in which it is possible for man to engage. As no other study can, it will quicken the mind and uplift the soul. The theme of redemption is one that angels desire to look into. It will be the science and the song of the redeemed throughout the ceaseless ages of eternity. Is it not worthy of careful thought and study now? The study of the incarnation of Christ, his atoning sacrifice and mediatorial work, will employ the mind of the diligent student as long as time shall last. And looking to heaven with its unnumbered years, he will exclaim, Great is the mystery of godliness. In eternity we shall learn that which, had we received the enlightenment that it was possible to obtain here, would have opened our understanding. The themes of redemption will employ the hearts and minds and tongues of the redeemed through the everlasting ages. They will understand the truths which Christ longed to open to his disciples, but which they did not have faith to grasp. Forever and forever new views of the perfection and glory of Christ will appear. Through endless ages the faithful householder will bring forth from his treasures things new and old. If it were possible for us to attain to a full understanding of God and his truth, there would be for us no further discovery of truth, no greater knowledge, no further development. Thank God it is not so. Since God is infinite, and in him are all the treasures of wisdom, we may to all eternity be ever searching, ever learning, yet never exhaust the riches of his wisdom, his goodness, and his power.